Something to be thankful for this Thanksgiving. The cost of a traditional Thanksgiving meal is down. That's right. The American Farm Bureau is out with their annual estimate showing the average price dropped 4.5% to $61.17, down from more than $64 last year. That's for 10 people. So what is driving down the cost, and is that price accurate? I went to three grocery stores in Central Florida, an Aldi, Walmart, and Publix, to see who is serving up the biggest savings. Savings. Our first stop, a Walmart Supercenter. We need some frozen peas, dinner rolls. 12 items. Pumpkin pie mix, a gallon of milk. On the Farm Bureau's annual Thanksgiving menu. We need a half pound of carrots. For each item. Challenge is it's hard to get such a small amount. I tried to get as close to the size they use. I may have to do a price check. And look for the brand. There's a quart. With the best deal. I just found a steal on dinner rolls. These dinner rolls are $1.28 for a dozen. All adding up. Our best bet on a turkey is gonna be right over here. To estimate. We've got these turkeys for 98 cents a pound. The real cost. All right, we'll take this one. The stuffing, we finally found it. On their list, a 14 ounce bag. We may have to go with the 12 ounce bag. Is this shrinkflation? Is this shrinkflation? Why is everything smaller this year? One by one, we filled up our cart. We used the Farm Bureau's estimate for miscellaneous ingredients at $3.95, but priced out everything else. Our grand total, $42.81. Up next, Aldi. Okay, we need a 30 ounce can of pumpkin pie mix. Now at Walmart, we couldn't quite find a 30 ounce can. We found a 29 ounce can. Here's a 30 ounce can for $1.89. And the bird? We're looking for a 16 pound turkey. This one looks good. The cheapest, a butterball for $1.27 a pound. Oh, it's heavy. The total cost here? $45.32. Our last stop, Publix. We need one 12 ounce bag of cranberries. Found it for $2.99. Our hard work. I see one turkey in this case right now, and the price right now is $2.59 a pound. Apparently not going unnoticed. A store employee soon approached us, asked us if we were price checking, then gave us their ad showing their turkey prices would drop the next day from $2.59 a pound down to $0.69 cents a pound. Our total the day we went, $81.61. The turkey gobbling up most of the cost. Kick in that sale price, it would drop to $51.21. Turkey prices will be cheaper this year. How much are we talking about? You know, all things are pointing to around 20 to 22 percent lower, but a lot of that will depend on the specials that we see in the grocery stores. Barron Nelson is an economist with the American Farm Bureau Federation. He says last year's bird flu outbreak led to record high prices, not just for turkeys, but also eggs. He cautions prices in the future could soar again. We didn't have as many backyard flocks as we do now. That was something that really changed when COVID hit was a lot of people got interested in backyard poultry production. And that has dramatically increased the spread of avian influenza. Now, had we shopped around and bought our turkey from Publix the next day, along with the cheapest items at Walmart and Aldi, our price could have been even lower at $34.12. We put a list of the complete menu and the prices that we found at ClickOrlando.com. So it definitely pays to shop around. <laughs> yeah, I was taking some serious yes. notes because I'm hosting for the first time ever. And okay. I have no idea where to even start, how much money it's going to cost me. So that was mm -hmm. some very that great information. That gives you a little range yeah. to look at. Good yeah, to know. A little guide. Good to know.